Hi, this is Greg Shields, and I'm going to show you how you can use group policy to adjust the power plans of your computers. You know, everybody today is trying to save money. And one of the great ways you can save money relatively easily is by setting your computers to a lower power state when they're not being used. One of the ways that you can do that is by adjusting their power policies through a group policy object. You'll see I've created one here. If I go and edit this group policy object and bring up this other window, I can actually modify my power plans in two different locations. The first is down here under Computer Configuration, Administrative Templates, System, and then Power Management. What I'm looking for is to select an active power plan. And if I double click this, you'll see I can enable the plan and then choose one of the two power plans that are available, either High Performance or Power Saver. Setting Power Saver here will actually go through and set the Power Saver plan. I can then adjust the power saver plan here under sleep settings and for example specify the system sleep timeout when the computer's plugged in. Once I do that, I choose enable and set the sleep timeout, remember this is a number of seconds and not minutes, before the system goes to sleep. What this allows me to do is set the uh, the value to maybe 15 minutes. So if my computers, if my users are not near their computers, then the computers will immediately go to sleep and save me on power. Now, as you can imagine, doing so here inside of group policy means that I have to turn this on all the time. And my users might not really appreciate having their computers go to sleep if they turn away for 15 minutes. What I'd really like to do is set the sleep's timeout to occur at a different value at the end of the day as it would during the middle of the day. Maybe I'd rather set it for 15 minutes after work hours, but during the workday I'd rather set it for four hours. I can't do that in group policy, but I can do that in group policy preferences down here under power options. What I need to do is create, first of all, a new power plan here under power options. You'll see here I'm going to choose the power saver plan. And under the power saver plan, I'm going to set it to sleep after 15 minutes. I'll leave the, uh, the on battery for zero just for now. Once I've configured the power plan, I then need to also set it as the active power plan. Once I've done that, I then need to configure when this plan will be applied. I can do so under the Common tab by choosing Item Level Targeting. In the Targeting Editor, what I'm looking for is Time Range. Now again, this is when I'm going to set the computers to sleep relatively quickly. So this is probably after the hours of 5 p.m., but all the way up until, well, 7 in the morning. If I click OK and OK again, that creates the plan. The next thing I want to do is create a second plan which instead of setting the power saver plan, will instead set the high performance plan. Here, I'm going to choose to sleep after, oh, 240 minutes. That's uh, four hours. And then go back up here to set the active power plan, and then adjust the item level targeting, so that instead of being from five to seven, I start at seven in the morning and go until five at night. These two plans will now alternate one during the day and one at night so that my users will not be interrupted by me adjusting their power plan.